and every Nueces County resident who lives in a local nursing home or assisted living facility is going to be tested for the coronavirus soon. City and county leaders gave an update on that effort this afternoon. Chris 6 News reporter Ashley Portillo is new at 10 tonight with the details. The coronavirus crisis is an especially scary time for some of the most vulnerable and high risk populations that would be the elderly. And that's exactly why local city and county leaders want to make sure that every resident who lives at a local facility gets tested. The health district will be working with all nursing home and the state surveyors to get them tested within the next 14 days. Director of Public Health Annette Rodriguez said crews will test more than 1,000 residents who live at 16 local nursing homes, 12 assisted living facilities, and 15 long-term living facilities. We have already started organizing sample collection with Krista's spawn staff as well as the fire department, and we will continue to communicate with these critical infrastructures so that we can ensure that all are tested. The fire department is also working to make sure these types of facilities are properly disinfected and cleared of germs. Chief Rocha and a team of uh, firefighters are being asked to go into the, the three different types of, of uh, care facilities for seniors. They're going to go in and uh, help perform uh, assessments of the sites. Meanwhile, Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales said mass testing like this may be something we see more often in the future. And I'll tell you, I don't think we should stop there. When we finish nursing homes, we need to look at other vulnerable populations. There's colonias, there's homeless shelters, there's a variety of um, opportunities to continue the quest to test. Meanwhile, Governor Greg Abbott also announced Wednesday afternoon the Texas National Guard has actually formed a disinfecting team. That disinfecting team will help disinfect nursing homes across the state. However, it's still unclear if that team will come here to the Coastal Bend. For now, reporting in Corpus Christi, I'm Ashley Portillo, Chris 6 News.